this is a video I did not want to make. I was hoping that all of this would go away and I could forget about it. But people keep posting things and sending me things. And so I feel like I've I've gotta I've gotta say something about it. Yes, there is an eclipse going coming up. And yes, the eclipse is crossing several towns in the United States called Nineveh. No, nothing is going to happen. And if you'll give me a couple of minutes, I will tell you why. This is all man-made, human hype, designed by Satan to make Christians and Christ look stupid. It's designed to make believing in Christ, believing in biblical prophecy, look like something that only idiots do. Okay? That's reason number one. Because when nothing happens on that day out of the ordinary, other than that an eclipse happens, it will make every Christian that has said the rapture is going to happen that day, some major world event is going to happen, it's going to make Christians and Christ look stupid to unbelievers and decrease the chances that they will be willing to listen to the gospel, that they will be willing to listen to the legitimate prophecies that are in the Bible that have happened and are going to happen, and we will all just look like a bunch of idiots. And yes, I know, there's this comet that's supposedly going to cross the moon, and it's got these devil horns. That's not biblical. There, the devil does not have horns in the Bible. The, ba the Bible says that Satan was, at one point, an angel of light. Do you know what the Bible says most angels look like? People. They look just like us. It says that we have entertained angels unaware. Meaning, you couldn't even tell that they weren't people. The other thing is, that there are things that Jesus specifically said to look for. Things like the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist defiling the temple, and claiming that he is God and telling people to worship him. That has not happened. It is not going to happen before the 8th when this eclipse happens. It's not going to happen shortly after this eclipse happens. And I don't care what's going on. Yes, I know, the CERN reactor, they're starting a new set of experiments that day. Folks, the CERN reactor starts new sets of experiments all the time. The fact that they're starting a new set on that day means nothing. I'm going to work that day. That's not a biblical sign. The scientists at the CERN reactor are going to work that day. It's not a biblical sign. The other thing that you need to keep in mind when it comes to biblical prophecy is this. Most biblical prophecy centers around the lands that were in the Bible. The Middle East, Israel, Jordan, Syria, Babylon, which is now um, <clears throat> Iran, or no, excuse me, Iraq. Um, It does not talk about towns in the United States. 
it does not talk about towns in Switzerland. Yes, there are biblical prophecies to be fulfilled. Yes, there are signs that we can watch for and we can know that the end is getting closer, that our redemption is near, as Jesus puts it. But we need to be looking for the signs that Jesus said to look for. An eclipse in the United States and the names that we have given to towns in the United States is not a biblical sign. Notice that when these people make these videos, TikTok, YouTube, uh, wherever, none of them are quoting scriptures. None of them are tying these videos to actual scriptures in the Bible. You know, they say, oh yeah, it's Nineveh. That's a town that's in the Bible. No, 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 no. Show me chapter and verse where Nineveh is related to an eclipse in the United States. You can't because it's not there. Now, I can show you the chapter and verse where Jesus said that the big sign that we're looking for is the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist in the temple claiming to be God. You cannot show me where a town named Nineveh in the United States, or six or eight towns, whatever, in the United States named Nineveh and an eclipse are in the Bible. It's not happening. When you share videos like this, when you make videos like this, you inhibit the gospel. You make Jesus look like a joke. You make believing in Jesus look ridiculous. You make biblical prophecy look ludicrous. You make it harder to share the gospel. You make it harder for people to believe the gospel. Stop sharing things like this. If you take your faith seriously, if you really believe in Jesus, if you believe that people need to be saved, and most importantly, if you believe that we are close to the end, which I do, that Christ's return is soon, which I do, then you need to do everything you can to help unbelievers become believers and take it seriously. And this is the opposite. Stop thinking about yourself and stop thinking about when am I being raptured out of here and start thinking about what am I doing to share the gospel and am I doing anything that makes Jesus Christ look bad? Am I an embarrassment to the kingdom of God? Because when you share videos like this where you are, the end of the world is coming on the 8th of next month during the eclipse, you make the kingdom of God look bad. You make Jesus look bad. You're an embarrassment to God. You're not pr being prophetic. Stop it. You need to think about what's in the Bible and what Jesus said. Think about what Jesus actually said. Don't think about what's on TikTok. Don't think about the names of maps on towns in the U.S. Think about what's in the Bible. Think about what Jesus actually said.